What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be checking out Kingdom Hearts 3 on the ROG Ally. But before we get started, you might notice that I'm not exactly running Windows here. This is a Linux distro that I recently installed known as Bazai. In fact, I created a full tutorial showing you how to install it on the Legion Go, but that kind of transfers over to these other handhelds also. I'll leave a link for that video in the description in case you want to test this out. And I've tested a lot of these gaming Linux distros on these handhelds via INEO, GPD, 1X, ASUS, and even the Steam Deck. This is quickly becoming one of my favorites due to the stability and the way it performs here on the Ally and the Legion Go. I've been really excited about the release of all of these Kingdom Hearts ports coming over to PC. Uh, you can pick them up on Steam, and they are Steam Deck verified, but at the time of making this video, I have not tested it on the Steam Deck. I'm actually on vacation, so things might sound and look a bit different here. But as soon as I get back from vacation, I will be testing this on the Steam Deck, so keep an eye out for that video. And I started with Kingdom Hearts 3 here. This has been absolutely amazing on the ROG Ally with Bazai installed. We're at a 15 watt TDP. 1080p, 75% resolution scale, medium settings, running at a constant 60. Every once in a while, I do see it dip down to around 58, but it's not something I'd ever notice if I didn't have that frame counter on screen right now. And total battery draw is around 25.4 watts. We're on par with the Steam Deck, but of course, when it comes to the Steam Deck OLED, we've got a much bigger battery than the ROG Ally does. Now that's all gonna change when the ROG Ally X hits the market but I've been really impressed by how these games are performing at that 15 watt TDP. And I'll tell you, even dropping that resolution down to 720p, taking this thing up to 40 watts, performance doesn't change all that much. And by the end of this video, I will be trying to get this up to 120 hertz, because if you're familiar with the ROG Ally, you know we've got that 120 hertz, 1080p IPS display. And I'm really interested to see in kind of dock mode if we could run this at 120, even if we have to take those settings down. But at 1080 medium, 75% resolution scale, 15 watts with this Linux operating system, the ROG Ally is fully playable and I've been having a really great time with these games. If you're interested in seeing these running in Windows on an ROG Ally, just let me know in the comments below. I would have tested it right now, but I'm on vacation. This is the only handheld that I brought with me and I've got Linux installed. Didn't want to completely wipe this SSD and get Windows 11 up and running when this is running so well. But now we're going to move on from 15 watts. I'm actually going to take this up to 30 watts and we're going to leave the same settings except we've got an unlocked frame rate. Well, at least it's set to 120. As you can see, we can't quite hit 120 here at 1080 medium, 75% resolution scale at 30 watts on this device. I mean, it's getting real close. We're seeing averages up in the 90s, around 96 FPS on average, which really isn't that bad, but we are kind of pushing this battery at 30 watts. Now, most of the time when I'm running this device, I'm around 18 watts with some of the harder to run AAA games. And in dock mode, I can take this all the way up because I'm usually plugged into power and I don't need to worry about battery life. So that's the next thing we're gonna be taking a look at. And in order to do this, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this into my game capture, make it a little easier on me. And with it set up like this, I was really expecting this to run at a constant 120 on this device. We're at a 40 watt TDP. I've dropped all of the settings down. We're at low settings, 720p, 75% resolution scale. And we're kind of on par where we were at that 1080, 75%, medium settings, 30 watt TDP. So yeah, pushing this device much harder with, uh, you know, this game here really isn't gonna help out too much. And that's totally fine with me. I don't mind playing this game at 1080 with that 75% resolution scale. Even going down to 900p at 100% resolution scale, you can kind of see the same performance there. This looks really good. This looks really good on the smaller display. And right now, of course, we're at 720, so it is a bit pixelated, blown up on your screen right now. But I'll show you. What we're gonna do is just go from 40 watts back down to 15. And I'll show you that, you know, we haven't gained that much taking it all the way up to 40 watts here with this game. Now there are games this really helps out with, especially something like Cyberpunk 2077. But going back down to 15 watts, we really only gained around an 18 FPS average going from 15 to 40 watts with Kingdom Hearts 3 on the ROG Ally. So yeah, I'll definitely be playing this at 15 watts and my Steam Deck video will be coming up soon. Uh, as soon as I get back from vacation, that's something I really wanna test out. My wife's favorite games are these Kingdom Hearts games and she's played through all of them on PlayStation 2, up to PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. 
I've got a regular LCD Steam Deck for her, but I think, uh, you know, with these games being released, I'm going to let her use the OLED for a while so she can go ahead and play through them again because that OLED on the Steam Deck looks absolutely amazing. But yeah, if you were interested in running this on the ROG Ally with Bazai OS installed, just keep in mind, you're going to have a really great experience with it. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.